How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about how to get rid of chest fat and belly fat for kids. So in this video, I will show you the two best exercises for each one and how you can get rid of your chest fat and your belly fat. So exercise one for our chest fat is going to be the one legged push up. This is a harder variation than the normal push up. You guys, it makes you use more of your stabilizing muscles. So again, I'll show you guys how to do the one legged push up. So when doing a push up, what we want to do is we want to get our shoulders. We want to put our hands about shoulder width apart. You guys now to get into the, the normal push up position, we're going to contract our glutes. Um, we're going to contract our abdominals. Now what we're going to do is we're going to lift one leg up. I'm picking my left leg. Now all we're going to do is do the push up. <coughs> and as you can see by lifting one leg up, it makes the movement so much harder to do. So again, it's just a little variation uh, as opposed to doing the normal push up by doing it like this. Again, it's just a little bit harder. It's going to stress your muscles out just a little bit more. So what you can do is you can do your normal push ups for 20 seconds or 20 repetitions. Once you can get your normal push ups for 20 reps, then what you can do is you can do the one legged push up for again, 20 reps. If you can do that, then I'll, I will make another video for you guys and you guys can do the next step for those. So the next push up that we're going to do is going to be the wide grip push up. So with the normal push up, we generally go about shoulder width apart with our hands. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go wide. We're going to go pretty wide with this. This is going to put a lot more emphasis on our chest. You guys, <coughs> So again, in the push-up position, contract your glutes, contract your abs, and then go down. <laughs> a lot more emphasis on our chest, you guys. Very good exercise to do. I highly recommend it. So for belly fat, the first exercise I'm going to show you is not the normal ab crunch like most people do it's going to be a reverse crunch. So this is a phenomenal exercise to do and I highly recommend it. So to do the reverse crunch, what we're going to do is we're going to get our legs into this position and all we're going to do is we're going to push them down to the ground like so. And then we're going to come back up and crunch. When doing this exercise, it's very important that your feet never touch the ground. If they touch the ground, you're doing it wrong. And again, this puts all the pressure on our lower abs, you guys. This will help get rid of, rid of that pesky belly fat. So exercise number two is going to be the leg circles, you guys. This is another great movement for our lower abs. And generally, the belly fat is in the lower section. That's why we like to train our lower abs. But keep in mind, you guys, belly fat will only go away if you reduce your calories. <clears throat> you can do as many ab exercises as you want, but if you don't reduce your calories, you're not going to lose weight. So again, leg circles, all we're going to do is make some big circles, you guys. This really trains our abdominal muscles. Then go the other way as well. Time yourself for these, you guys. Try to get 30 seconds. If not, that's fine. Um, for the wide grip push ups, the one legged push ups, um, the reverse crunch, try to, try to get 20 reps. After that, and then what you can do is uh, try to get 30 reps or comment below. I will, I will make another video for you guys. Uh, for the leg circles, try to do at least 30 seconds. End the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like the video and share it. Peace out.